Zimbabwe's president took a stance for returning land to black Zimbabweans since gaining power in 1980. And in 2000, Robert Mugabe's controversial land grab policy saw white farmers lose their lands. It is absolutely wrong to allow a set of individuals to acquire their ownership and possession of resources which are God-given. They're not man-made. The land, the water, the forest, the animals, the fish in the river, the minerals, these are given us by nature. And it is in principle wrong for any one man to claim ownership of such resources. We should belong to the people as a whole. A more recent indigenization law is meant to give local Zimbabweans a larger share in businesses in the country. For those efforts, the local affirmative action group National will be honoring Mugabe with an award in March. He will be getting the Global Legend of African Liberation Empowerment Award. This is a once-off award. It's an award that we're just going to give to him and to him alone in our lifetime. Um, and this is largely uh, was motivated by the fact that we looked at President Mugabe's life since the days of the liberation struggle and the words that he was preaching to the, to the liberation fighters. After his re-election in July, Mugabe vowed to continue with his drive for total indigenization, empowerment and development of his country. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.